thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Leo might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon I think you guys will like. Okay, so this is uh, your reading for June 13th through the 19th, 2022. It's a shorter version of the monthlies and it kind of catches up what's going on for the week. Uh, now, I'm only going to do uh, 10 cards instead of the usual 24. And if it uh, resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, just keep what does. Disregard the rest. If you know your other planetary placements, just listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and connect the spirit and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Leo for the week of June 13th through the 19th. Spirit, what love messages do you have for Leo, June 13 through 19, 2022? Spirit, what love messages do you have for Leo for the 13th through the 19th of June? Okay, I'm shuffling one more time. And now I'm dividing into three stacks. Okay. The card on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so you may find yourself in the mood for love, in the mood to uh, pursue new love, or even to grow a deeper relationship with someone, someone that you're already with. So this can pertain to singles as well as those who are couples, okay? Or in some type of committed relationship. Okay, now I'm going to put that card there, and I'm going to show you how that card's going to relate to the other cards that uh, come up for you. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and lay these out. Okay. Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups. Okay. Moon, Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant, Judgment. Seven of Wands and Six of Pentacles. Okay, uh, so this one is kind of all kind of mixed up. There's not really any flow to it. So we're going <clears> to <throat> read through these cards and I may pull a clarifier or two. Okay, so starting out the reading, again, we have this uh, Ace of Cups. And just like the uh, card at the beginning, your overall energy. Yes, you are um, experiencing a lot of happiness, a lot of love in your life. You want to find that person to share it with. Or like I said, if you're already with somebody, uh, you want that love to grow even deeper. All right. Now, um, when that happens, <clears throat> sometimes there could have been some kind of setback or something and you just want it to grow deeper. Or maybe you want the commitment to be a little stronger than uh, what you have going on at the time. Now, with the... Uh, Ten of Swords, of course, this is hurt you've experienced in the past. It's caused you to maybe uh, feel a lot of betrayal and a lot of hurt. Uh, maybe you are not the most trusting person, but you have to understand uh, this person you're with, it's not the one that hurt you. This is the stuff that you've been carrying with you and it's time to let go of. I, I, the word punish comes out. You got to stop punishing the person that you're with. Uh, and holding them accountable for the things that other people may have done to you previously. Okay, so we're going to put that there. All right, now with the Four of Cups, again, uh, you know, we're talking about those who are in uh, situations with um, with someone else where they're involved. Okay, you want to spice it up. You want a little more. You want a little deeper connection. Again, it's it's like repetitive. It's here. Uh, in order to have that, you do have to let go of some of that trust, uh, some of that distrust that you have. Uh, you have to build 
you have to build on it. You have to build on it. Uh, so if you're going to pursue this, if you're going to do that, you might need to do a little bit of work on yourself that has, you know, that you can do what is the, like this shadow work uh, to dig deep and uh, figure out what the source of that was, why it triggers you, how to get it to stop triggering you. And, you know, I talk all the time about cord cutting and it, that's definitely <clears throat> something you might need to look into. Let me grab a drink of water. <clears throat> My nephew just cut grass. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so here we go. The moon, all right. The moon is showing us that, you know, <clears throat> you found out things. Okay, that have been being hidden from you. Now, this is not always a bad thing. Sometimes things are hidden from you because the person doesn't want to lose you because they feel as if uh, you aren't as, <clears throat> let me get a sip of coffee, hang on. All right, that's better. All right, uh, just need something hot to clear my throat. All right, so with the moon, we have, uh, of course, you see these little uh, creatures crawling up out of the dark and howling at the moon and uh, revealing all types of things. We've just experienced an, an eclipse a couple of weeks ago. And with this, a lot of things, you know, came to the surface. A lot of things uh, you have found out. But, you know, you have to uh, decide. And we have judgment cards. So, yeah, it's definitely a decision you're going to have to make about this. And I know this card is from the third row, but it's just beneath it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in. You have to decide whether it's worth hanging on to uh, all that hurt from your past or letting go so that you can enjoy uh, a, a full experience of love. Now, if you're single, uh, yeah, until you have all this cleared, it's not really great for you to pursue that love. You have your heart and your mind kind of focused on uh, someone that can uh, offer you that stability and offer you that security. Uh, we're looking at earth signs here. So with your earth signs, you have your Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Taurus is great for a Leo. It, they, they offer that stability uh, and you are just like, you know, roaring through life and uh, doing doing so much, okay? Uh, yeah, so with everything that you have going on, uh, this person is kind of like an anchor for you. And you're going to find that uh, you feel the most comfort with them, all right? Now, you have a Hierophant. And this definitely goes along with your uh, mood of this Ace of Cups. And you're looking for love. You want to be in a committed relationship. You want this person uh, that you're dreaming of, you don't know who it is yet, to come into your life. And you just keep working on that, keep manifesting that love, and you're going to find that it, it shows up. Sometimes, you know, when you're least expecting it, uh, love just appears. You know, it's it's like when you do spells or something, you can't sit and worry over them. You just do your spell and you leave it and then you wait for it to come on. If you fuss over it too much, uh, it's probably not going to, to work. All right, so we did the judgment card for you. Now the seven of wands, okay. So you're feeling a little defensive when I say, you got to let go of the hurt. You have to let go of this mistrust that you have in everybody just because you've been hurt and betrayed and manipulated before. Not everyone is out to do that to you. Not everyone is out to uh, hurt you. Uh, you. You have to let go of that suspicious sign. But at the same time, you're feeling like you're justified in that and that you have these... Um, uh, you, that you have your reasons for doing it, you know. But seriously, relax, <laughs> let go of it a little bit, okay? And uh, when you get to uh, the ending, you have that Six of Pentacles. You certainly don't want to be uh, the person in the relationship that your earth sign that is finally manifesting and coming into your life. Uh, don't just take and take and take. You've got to give back some to them. And what I mean by that is you've got to give some of that trust back to them where they are enjoying you and experiencing you and um, going through all of the new things that happen in a relationship. And even if you are currently in a relationship, 
what's going to happen is you, um, you know, you're going to build that trust a little bit deeper when you let go of some of that and you give back some of that emotional support and stop being, um, I hate to say the word jealous, possessive, insecure, uh, those things are not healthy in a relationship. And, uh, you know, even though you may be justified in feeling them, okay, because you have been uh, seriously hurt and, uh, yeah, it's just time to let go of that. You, it's time to, to feel that love. You want to experience love in your life and you want to feel all those wonderful things that happen when you are in a uh, committed relationship, okay? So let's commit to um, opening up and uh, giving love as well as receiving love uh, for this particular week of the 13th through the 19th. All right, Leo, that's your reading. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.